now something completely different. We're going to talk about the NBA right now on uh, Tuesday, October 22nd. Tonight it's going to be Minnesota Timberwolves versus Los Angeles Lakers. The over-under is 222, which means the NBA plays no defense. And um, I can't stand Paul George. The guy is such a waste of talent. The guy never wins when it matters. When you need him to win a game, if it's the Clippers, Pacers, Thunder, whatever team he goes on, he'll go like 7 for 22 and just chuck up these terrible shots. But hey, at least you're doing a podcast where you're trying to be like an NBA Howard Stern. It's absolutely ridiculous. So here's the thing. He claims he wants the media out of the locker room. I've seen a reporter stare at penises. Cool, bro. You also cheated on your wife and knocked up a stripper, and now you're married to her. So you have no tag- you have no integrity, and you're always hurt because you care more about your podcast than you do about winning games. And the fact that 76ers fans thought that him and Joel Embiid, who are both injury-prone, were going to win something, you're stupid. But then again, you're from Philly, so I'll give it a pass because you are all stupid in Philly. And then here's this. So moving on, P, I'm unsure if you saw this news, but the NFL PA is actively calling for media members to be removed from the locker room. That guy's trying to sound cool. What up, P? And for practice interviews to be conducted elsewhere. And the PA released this statement, and I quote, players feel that the locker room interviews invade their privacy. Oh, cry me a river. You guys all make $200 million. The NBA, if you don't make $100 million, you're not making any money. Every player is getting a minimum of $100 million. Talking to the media, that's their job. If it wasn't for the media and the fans, you would be nothing. Mm-hmm. So cry me a river. And are uncomfortable. This isn't about limiting media access. No, it is. You don't like questions. Hey, Paul George, why did you choke when it matters? Mm-hmm. But about respecting players' privacy and dignity. What do you think about that? Um, um You got to think about it. Kind of like when I overthink a jump shot and lose it for my team when they need me. Because I'm Paul George. I didn't see that, but I I agree. So, P, other players chimed in with some very, very interesting tweets. I love these NBA podcasts where you have the one host who's the kiss ass of the uh, – Not of the league, but of the player. Like, nobody's going to question Paul George. You need somebody who's thinking the opposite. Mm -hmm. And uh, one former wide receiver, Torrey Smith, tweeted, and I quote, pause, if only y'all knew how awkward some of the male reporters act. Straight meat watchers. Well, hell yeah, that's what you got to (laughs) do. That was a real tweet. So it sounds like there's some iffy stuff going around the whole NFL with this meat watcher. This is the homophobia in sports. I'm not saying it's acceptable to look at a man's junk in the locker room, but come on now. You know. Oh, yeah, they got to stop conspiracy. <laughs> nah, there's some honest truth to that. Um, oh, yeah, everybody looks at my appearance, including the stripper that I knocked up and cheated on my wife with. There was an incident, and there was even way back, you know, my time of being in the NBA where guys would talk about this situation and there was a reporter in Washington that would look at dude, like stare at dude's meat, like while they're in the house or while they're like. You know, Get a better microphone, bro. You make like 200 million. You know, changing. And you got to understand, bro, like the game might be over in 10 minutes after that, all the reporters are coming in, right? Yeah, they are. And immediately after the game, like you're not showering right away. You know what I mean? Like, you might take a second to kind of mm-hmm. process what just happened. Like, yeah, I missed a jump shot when my team needed me, and I went 7 for 21. <laughs> like, get your, your thoughts and stuff together. Relax a little bit. Have a shake. Oh, um, yeah. Or a smoothie or whatever. Like, drinks. Like, you, you're going to chill. Check your phone. I got to see what Twitter's up to when I'm Kevin Durant. And so... I would say majority of the locker room, bro, they're naked. Like we're in towels. We're naked. Like we're, we're, we just got out the shower. That'd be weird. Like covering the NBA and you just see like uh, LeBron naked. We got, you know, and I mean, they're going to be naked in an hour when they bang one of their side checks at the stripper. Then you have these reporters in there and like, they not staring at a wall. I mean, I'm not saying I would look, but it would be hard not to in a weird way. You know what I mean? Yeah, back up. They're looking at us. They like they funky and shit. I know it got to be funky in there. Like, what y'all right. get out? Yeah. It's, Paul George really needs somebody to, like, 
you know, be the opposite factor. You know, like how like first take everybody disagrees on opinions and I know it's fake, but the fact that everybody's agreeing makes it kind of insufferable. Win a championship, Paul George, and shut up. And that's like, that's our safe space. You know what I mean? The lo- our locker room is our safe space to be. Or your hotel where you cheat on your wives. Begin with. So like, you can't even talk, even if it's like an injury or like, you know, that's how stories get leaked. Like, I'm trying to talk to a teammate like, yo, you know, I, I. Well, then wait till later. This is what you get for signing up for playing sports. Cry me a river. <laughs> I should have did this better. I should have did that better. Like so-and-so, dang, he missed a shot or he turned the ball over. No. It's not so-and-so turned the ball over. It's you turned the ball over. You're talking about yourself. You're projecting. And now a story gets blown out of proportion. No, it doesn't. Because of someone ear hustling, these reporters ear hustling, and they make- I've never heard ear hustling. A story out of nothing. All right, I'm sick of hearing about Paul George. I like the guy. He's good in NBA 2K, but in real life, when you need him to win, he's useless. Happy hour. Happy hour.